Hey, it's Peggy Romero. I'm using this um, fire that I just built myself as a representation, a visualization of how all things are possible. So I was just thinking about this story um, that really happened. When I was 27, I was newly divorced. It was my first Christmas in my new house. It was my second Christmas without my husband that I'd been married to since I was 18. And I was scared and I was lonely and I didn't know how to do a lot of things. Well, we had Christmas and it was nice and I loved my new house and everything. And I built a fire in the fireplace. Well, I didn't really build a fire, but I had stuffed all of the um, Christmas wrapping paper into the fireplace of my new house. And I had my stockings hung like this, and I had a mantle hanging, and I had some uh, Christmas cards sitting up on the mantle. Well, I pushed the, you know, new, the wrapping paper in there and went off to do breakfast or whatever I did. Next thing you know, the alarm's going off and the whole house is full of black smoke. The garland um, was melted. Luckily it was uh, fire resistant, so it didn't catch on fire. And the, um, Christmas cards were burning, like ashes were floating all through the house. It was awful and scary. The damper was closed, the flu, whatever. I didn't know how to open it. I didn't know about that. And so I didn't know how to fix anything. And my son was probably five, um, you know, my daughter, 10 or 11. So we just didn't know. Anyways, the fire went out and everything turned out okay. But I never lit a fire again until now. So yesterday morning, I said to myself, I'm tired of being afraid of that. I'm just going to try again. And so I started Googling how to um, make sure a flu is open and stuff like that. I couldn't figure it out, but I got this idea to call the my realtor, to call the realtor of the old owners. And lo and behold, the owner of the house called me back, the prior owner called me back uh, the night before last and told me how to make sure the flu was open. So ta-da, look at my fire. 30 years I was afraid to light a fire, actually more than 30 years, and now I did. And look how cozy it is and how beautiful it is. And I just wanna tell you guys, it's never too late to overcome your fears. It's never too late to do what you wanna do. It's never too late to start living every single day on purpose, and I encourage you to do that. Have a great Christmas.